The body of an Ontario provincial police officer who was shot dead earlier this week will be brought to his hometown north of Toronto today. Highway overpasses between Barrie and Toronto are draped in Canadian flags as people show their respect for slain OPP constable Greg Krishala. His body is being carried from the coroner's office in Toronto to his hometown of Barrie. Krishala's murder on Tuesday has reignited debate about Canada's bail system. One of the two people charged with first-degree murder in Prashala's death was out on bail at the time of the shooting. Joining us now for more is Chris Lewis, CTV News public safety analyst and former OPP commissioner. Chris, thank you for joining us once again this morning. Good morning, Lois. Well, Chris, let's talk about what we can expect to see today during this procession. Well, you're going to see a lot of uh, public support for sure, um, and a lot of police and emergency responder support uh, along the overpasses. Uh, they're asking people not to be on the shoulders of the highway because of the danger involved with passing vehicles. Uh, but you'll see a lot of support. And, and I think, I mean, it's awful to say, but in every police funeral, I've always left better, feeling better about policing and the relationship with the public because of the support. As tragic as it is, uh, it's a way of the public and, and emergency responders getting together to give some closure to it. Now, this is not the funeral. It's just a procession to the funeral home. But at the same time, it's an opportunity for people to show their emotion uh, and, and honour the fallen officer that gave his life for the province of Ontario. And Chris, you know, to your point, I can imagine for many police officers out there seeing what happened to Officer Prashala, um, hearing this story, seeing the impact that it has had on the community, but also just reflecting on their own jobs, what they do day in and day out. It really can be something that feels discouraging, uh, can make you second guess what you do, whether or not it's worth it. And then to see that kind of support, it really must mean something. Well, for sure. And, and you've really had all the emotions involved because a lot of officers will be questioning the profession and questioning the relationship with the public. Uh, but seeing that public support and seeing that big team of emergency responders, not just police, but fire and paramedics and others uh, united uh, to do what's right for the officer and for the public. It, it really gives a lot of officers a, a sense of strength. And that's, and that's a good thing. And that's what I meant by saying I've left police funerals feeling better about the profession because you see that big team. But at the same time, it's sad. It's tragic. It's, it's, it's absolutely going to question some officers and some potential recruits about the uh, policing as a career. But I hope it doesn't discourage applicants. I hope it doesn't discourage officers from doing what they do. And I'm confident it won't uh, because they're sworn to protect the public and, and they'll move forward in, in honor of this officer and do their very best for years to come. Meantime, Chris, the investigation is still ongoing into the death of Constable Greg Pashala. When do you expect we will learn more about that? I don't know how much we will learn, to be honest. Um, the, the, the fact that the suspects are still alive means they're going to be a criminal trial. And they can't release information that could prospectively, or, or sorry, hurt prospective jurors in terms of their ability to judge the case fairly in an unbiased way. So they have to be very careful about that. Um, so we may not hear a lot till the trial. Uh, and then again, we may. Who knows whether or not they'll take this to a full trial, whether there will be a plea of some sort. We don't know. But I don't think we'll hear a lot of the evidentiary things uh, from police. Some will leak out and we'll hear some of it. But unless it comes from the police, we won't know what's real and what's just kind of, you know, public sentiment or, or people venting. Just finally here, I did want to ask you, Chris, about the fact that, you know, Constable Pishala was killed near Hagersville, and that's a community, a rural community in Ontario. This is a community that just two years ago was mourning the death of another officer who is from Hagersville, um, Sergeant Andrew Harnett, who was killed during a traffic stop in Calgary. Um, talk about the impact this is really having on communities like Hagersville, where it is a small community, where people tend to know each other, and something like this is now hitting them twice. And you're right. I mean, the, the small communities, generally people know one another. And uh, in the case of the officer from Calgary, uh, I mean, he actually, I believe he had been military as well prior to policing, much like uh, constable, the constable from the OPP. 
uh, ultimately people band together differently. Uh, there's generally not kind of that vocal minority anti-police sentiment in smaller communities that we get in some of the larger municipalities. All that being said, I think that you'll see the community bands together very strongly in support of their police when things like this happen. Uh, tragic that it's affected that community of Hagersville twice in, in such a, a short period of time. Uh, awful, no matter what department, what officer uh, is, subsequently gives their life. But, but I think that you'll see that support from the community uh, over the years to come, uh, and which will give the police more strength to do what they do and, and do it for the right reasons. All right. We do have to leave it there, but we are going to welcome you back later on in the program throughout the day. Chris Lewis, CTV News, public safety analyst and former OPP commissioner. Thanks so much for now. Thank you, Lois.